Hello, grade 11 students. Today's lesson is vocabulary, module 9A on your student book, page 130. In today's lesson, you will identify new vocabulary relating to places, geographical features and architectural features, activity A, form derivatives with the, the suffixes, activity B and C, and finally, practice word formation using context clues, activity D. All right, now let's brainstorm vocabulary related to the word architecture. What's the meaning of architecture? Architecture is the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. Can you think of some related vocabulary? Towers are part of architecture. Buildings in general. Chimneys. Architect is the one who works in this field, in this industry. Design, so the architect is in charge of designing buildings, towers, chimneys. Architecture can be described as Islamic architecture in many buildings in our country, Qatar. If you can look at the Islamic Museum and mosques, balcony is a part of the architecture and decoration, we can think of the interior design, which is a part of architecture. All right, now it's time to open your student books, page 130, and do the activity number A. Look at the pictures, then complete the sentences with the correct form of the names of the architectural features. As you can see, the first picture is maze. This one is chimney. The other one is column. This is tower, fresco, terrace. Now let's read the sentences and fill in the gaps. As you can see, we have six sentences. We are going to fill in the gaps with the the words given. I knew they were at home because I saw smoke rising from, so the key word here is smoke, should be rising from the chimney. Do you want to sit out on the and watch the sun go down? So where do you think we sit out? And of course, we are going to watch the sun go down. Very good, it's the terrace. There was a lot of fun. It took us over an hour to get out. Okay, so we are talking about getting out from a place. And it was a lot of fun. So this must be the maze of course it should be a lot of fun there are 180 steps up to the top of the so we are going to talk about the top of the tower the walls are covered in beautiful brightly colored so beautiful, brightly colored can describe the picture number five, which is fresco. At the entrance to the museum, there are four with statues of lions on them. And of course, here we are talking about column. Now, let's move on to the second objective. What do a prefix and a suffix mean? Let's find out. So, a prefix 
is a letter or group of letters added to the beginning of a word to make a new word. Example, in the word unimportant, the UN is a prefix. A suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word to make a new word. Example, the suffix N-E-S-S or NES added to the end of the word sweet forms the word sweetness, changing an adjective into a noun. I hope you've got now a clear idea about the difference between a prefix and suffix. Now let's do the activity number D. Look at the sentence below. What adjective is the noun in bold formed from and what suffix has been added to form the noun? So this is the word. The size and complexity of the underground cities is mind boggling, which is overwhelming. So the word is complexity. And of course, the adjective is complex and suffix I T Y has been added. So many nouns are formed from adjectives by adding I T Y E N C E A N C E or N E S S with difference in meaning. All right, now let's practice adding suffixes to the adjectives. In activity C, we are going to form nouns by adding a suffix to the adjectives in the box and write them under the correct heading. So these are the headings. Make any necessary spelling changes, then check your answers using a dictionary. So as you can see, we have a list of adjectives and we are going to form nouns by adding these suffixes. So the first suffix ity refers to state of being something. The ence to form nouns that refer to actions or series of actions. ance action or process. ne double s to refers to condition or quality. All right, if you feel disorientated or confused and you don't know the meanings of uh, the words in the activity C, I'd recommend that you go to qlearning.edu.gov.qa and press the vocabulary list. So you can find the words, as you can see here, by module. So you press on it and you can choose number nine. Our module is number nine and try to find the meaning of the words. If you want to uh, check the, some specific words you can write in the search box. For example, the first word in the exercise, which is significant. Let's press significant. So you want to make sure about the pronunciation. You press this icon. Significant. And here is the meaning, which means being important. Then, as you can see, this EG means the example. The day I became a father was the most significant day in my life. Okay, we can check another word curiosity this n refers to the word noun so curiosity is a noun and it means the need to know things curiosity and here is the example my little cousin has so much curiosity about the world around her all right let's check another word we have relevance and relevant noun and adjective here is the pronunciation. Relevant. Which means being connected to something that is being discussed. All right. Let's check more advanced words from the same exercise, which is exercise C. So here it is. Consciousness. Consciousness is the act of having awareness. How about this word? So we have both the noun and the adjective. Ignorant. Ignorant means not having enough knowledge about somebody or something. 
and of course you can carry on searching the meanings of the words through this interactive book as it is available to all students. Now let's focus on the first suffix which is ity. You can pause the video to take the answers. Curiosity, publicity, reality, fatality. All right, now move on to the next suffix, E-N-C-E. -E. Absence, patience, convenience, and innocence. As you can see here, the adjectives turned into nouns. A-N-C-E, significance, relevance, tolerance, ignorance. N-E-S-S, -S, sweetness, consciousness, seriousness, and carelessness. All right, now let's practice adding suffixes to other new words. We are going to complete the sentences in exercise D with nouns formed from the adjectives in capitals. So these are the adjectives. But first of all, let's check if we can identify the meaning of each word. So we are going to display now definitions that are taken from the Cambridge Dictionary. First, we have the word existent, which is an adjective that means to be real, aware. Someone who is aware, it means he or she knows that something exists. Similar or different. Similar means looking almost the same, and this is the antonym of different. Confident having trust or being certain of your abilities when you trust your abilities. Distant means far away. Popular, something which is known by the public. Important, necessary. Lonely, when you feel unhappy because you are not with other people. Secure, a secure place is not likely to move, fail or break. Nervous, when someone is worried or anxious. All right, now let's read sentences and try to form the nouns. There is no proof of, the, of life on other planets. The existence. We need to raise people's awareness of environmental issues. Can you find all the, as you can see, we need the two words here, all the similarities and differences between the two pictures. Number four, Jane lost confidence in herself after failing the driving test. Do you know the distance from London to Oxford? The popularity of tablets is constantly growing. I can't stress enough the importance of regular exercise. If you're suffering from loneliness, you should do something about it fast. For security reasons, this door opens only from the inside. Fred tried to hide his nervousness, but couldn't. All right, now let's demonstrate understanding and learning and use three new words from exercises A, C, and D to make meaningful sentences. I advise you to write as many sentences as you can. Now, let's share a suggested example. 
For security reasons, cleaning chimneys and fireplace is significant to your health and safety. So security is taken from exercise number D. Chimney is taken from the exercise number A and significant is taken from the exercise number C. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.